Hello Taurus, welcome to this energy reading for 2023. I hope you're doing well. And um, in this reading, it's a general reading, we are going to look at vital energies for the upcoming year and what it's going to be like for you. And the reading is divided into four parts, okay? The first part is focus on your physical reality, which means everything to do with your earthly life, you know, from a uh, professional life to your finances to any other things that may uh, be impacting your physical reality. The second part of the reading is focus on your emotional and mental well-being. What are the areas to watch out for and um, what are lessons to be learned as well? And then we come to the uh, third part, which is your spiritual growth, right? Spiritual progress, what to focus on and what to watch out. Four. And the last part would be messages from your future self. Okay, so if the message resonates with you, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. So we're going to pick three cards. Okay, and wow, Taurus, you're starting the year with very heavy contemplation. Um, I feel also that, you know, uh, throughout the year, you should do mini retreats just to regain your energy, just to get back in tune with who you are. Now, this is an energy where um, you, you need time to yourself. It's like the hermit energy. And hermit energy means that you need to like, you know, um, take time off from people, take time off from work and just go back into your own space. Now, I'm also getting, you know, uh, a message that maybe for some of you, you are creating a retreat space and a, a physical space, you know, whether it is uh, either for professionally or, you know, for your own interests, for your own uh, pleasure, right? I mean, your own retreat space somewhere where you can really just, you know, recuperate, you know, bring your energies back. And it is a physical space that you are creating, which is very nice. All right, and, and that's what you need. Um, it feels as if, you know, those of you who are setting up new homes, that is going to be a home filled with a lot of happiness, professionally also um, a lot of fulfillment. Uh, some of you are starting clean professionally, as though you are starting a new job, you are starting something new, you are doing something new. Um, if not at the beginning of the year, then sometime throughout the year, uh, some of you will be venturing into new areas, uh, new areas in which you have never ventured before. You know, it's like entirely new and feels pretty exciting, right? And uh, you'll be learning new things. It's like a clean canvas, right? And you are just, you know, playing with the, you know, having free reign, right? To do what you like, you know, in this, in this uh, profession, in, you know, professional life. Um, home front seems, you know, peaceful. Even if you are moving, those of you who are moving, it feels like it's it's good. You know, everything is smooth. But you do need to take time off. That seems to be um, a very strong message coming through, and I feel that that can impact your well being, your physical well being, if you do not allow yourself to take the proper time off. And you may maybe. Um, for some of you, you will feel like you need to take more time off than before. Perhaps, you know, some repercussions from the pandemic and whatever has happened in the past three years, right? And you are in recovering mode. And so taking time off would be highly appropriate for you, resting, resting up, allowing the physical body to heal. It's a very healing year as well. Let's pick some clarifiers. Let's see what else does Taurus need to know with regards to physical health, physical reality, what to watch out for. Okay. Listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. All right. So this is important, especially when it comes to your physical well-being. Um, listen to true feelings, trust your intuition, trust your gut as to what is good or what is best for you in terms of your physical well-being. 
wow, everything is about physical. Consumption of water, drink more water and eat foods with water in them, such as fresh fruits and vegetables, exercise. You do need all that to heal the physical body. So run, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. So if you can't run, then do something like yoga, right? It gives you more energy and happiness. I feel like, you know, for you, Taurus, your reading is very focused on physical health as well. Now let's see. Um, what else do we have? Messages for Taurus in terms of physical reality, physical well-being, when it comes to uh, professional life, home front. What else? Okay, detachment. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. Very nice message there. True offering. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. So if you find that the healing process becomes, like the physical healing process becomes unbearable, then you do need to offer it to the divine and return it to love and allow the divine to assist you there, to give you the healing that you are looking for, okay? All right. Um, I feel it's not finished. Let's see what else will... Nothing came up from here, so I'm thinking maybe we'll go back to this one. As far as, okay, yes. But whatever your question was, oops, sorry about that. Whatever your question was, um, it's a strong yes. Maybe you've been you know, thinking about this question for a while. It's a strong yes. Okay, Taurus? All right. Okay, so let's now go to your emotional, mental well-being. Let's see what we have. Taurus. Hmm. Emotional, mental well-being. Okay. You are going deeper into exploration of your past pains, Taurus, and it's highly necessary for deeper healing. Uh, maybe you haven't decided yet if you want to do that, but you are highly encouraged to do that because it feels as if it is necessary. Okay, all these cards split. I'm just going to use them all, okay? So emotionally, mentally, certainly a lot of healing needed, some hard work, but you will see much more clearly with the healing, right? Um, Taurus, all your past trauma needs to be addressed past, because you will have a tower moment um, sometime in the year. And this tower moment is when you have certain realization you know, it's like you, you thought something was your reality and then realizing that, oh my God, you know, I've understood this wrong. I've seen this thing wrong throughout my entire life. And now I'm getting this, you know, sudden realization. And so change is needed, right? Change in mindset, uh, reframing things, you know. So there will be a huge learning curve for you um, in terms of, you know, Healing, healing emotionally and mentally, huge learning curve, a uh, steep learning curve, and but then you will get the results. You will see by you know by third quarter, by the end of the year, you will see much more clearly uh, why is it so. I highly, highly encourage you, you know, Taurus, for those of you who have unhealed stuff right within yourself, um, if you have you know trouble in your relationships, past or present. Um, with family members, with, you know, with anyone. And if you don't work through it, see a therapist to work through it, it can become, you, you can feel like, you know, this year it can hit you um, as if you have 
you've been seeing the world upside down and now you have certain realization. So instead of being hit with it, you know, you empower yourself by going, you know, seek professional help and, and get the healing done, right? And so that you will not be, you don't have these sudden things happening to you and you're much more in control, okay? Um, this traditionally is known as the judgment card. So, you know, judgment can mean many things. Judgment could mean that people you have wronged um, and then you have certain realization that you have wronged them, right? That you, it's like cause and effect, karma playing out, rebalancing of energies um, because the justice card often talks about how we then begin to realize that, you know, our accusations, you know, towards someone else or that we thought someone was like this. And then in return, we realized that, oh, you know, we made a mistake, right? A misjudgment. And so this year, you know, there's a lot of justice evening out. So it goes both ways, right? People who have wronged you, um, you might find that it's coming back to you, right? You, you feel much more justified. You feel like you're hurt. But it could also be the other way around, right? People you have wronged and then certain realization. So I feel a lot of energies of forgiveness is needed both ways, right? And um, But in terms of your emotional, mental development, there seems to be a lot of growth, um, a lot of triggers too, you know? So just be, just be mindful that you do not become a victim of these triggers. Triggers are not bad things, all right? Do not avoid triggers. That's what I always tell my, my students. Do not avoid triggers because triggers enables us to know what is truly going on within our own unconscious and within the shadow. And when it's triggered, it comes up and then we realize that, oh, okay, this is something that I really need to own. I need to work through. I need to feel through, right? So do not avoid triggers. Uh, just be aware that you do not become victims of triggers is my message here. Oh, <laughs> Same two cards. So you really do need to walk off those emotions, right? So let's say when you are feeling uh, angry. So instead of having the outburst, walk it out, right? Exercise it out, feel it through your body, drink a lot of water. Water is also extremely powerful for emotional healing. All right, so whenever you feel a certain emotion that you do not like, drink water, help the body to, you know, move the energies through the, through the physical body. Family culture. So something to do with family that needs to be addressed, Taurus. So if you've been avoiding confronting some of your deep-seated resentment or issues or pain or whatever, right, the justice card is playing out, look into it because, you know, there's a lot of healing. There's a lot of... Um, the energy is asking you to go deeper because you do need to also take responsibility as much as you know other people need to take responsibility. You too, right? I mean, no one is completely right all the time, or no one is completely wrong all the time. There's always, you know, situational and something going on, right, with everybody all at once. So look into that. Um, own whatever is your part and allow the tower moment to play out. Okay, just as I've said, allow the triggers to play out. Interesting year for growth, emotional, mental well-being, but it's good because this is also it shows also victory that you you will have certain realization, change when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything or everyone. I'm going to add that in. You come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. Okay, good one. One more from this deck for Taurus. I'm just checking to see the camera is still on. Okay, we'll take all these three or four. <laughs> okay, so deepening. Once you are on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping, detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. You have two deepening cards, my dear Taurus. So there is a real need, a strong message here for you 
to surrender and detach, to really bring peace. There's something not quite peaceful right now. So this is a strong, powerful energy. Divine source, help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. Divine abundance. You're born to align with love's will, follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance and not chase it. Good reminder there for you in terms of mindset shift, in terms of reframing, right? Very powerful one I feel for you here, Taurus, in terms of your emotional, mental well-being. So take heat, right? Do what you need to do um, to heal, to empower self. And then go on from there. Now, let's see what's up for you in terms of your spiritual growth and progress. Quite an emotional year ahead, but you'll be rewarded with peace. Because you will grow emotionally, um, mentally, right? So this is psychological growth. And it is always powerful. And, you know, it's always good to... Um, I mean, we're humans, right? So we do need to experience our emotions. Um, the idea is to master them, allow the emotions, okay, to be our ally rather than our enemy. Okay, spiritual development. Spiritual development, the strong message from the first card. Okay, something dropped. I'm going to pick it up. The strong message from the first card is nothing is what it seems. So there is a lesson of discernment here to open your eyes, to awaken, to see things in which, to learn to see things in which you have never seen before or never thought about. And there will be lessons that, that awaken this for you. Second time you're getting this card from, I think, emotional, mental well-being, you got this card as well. So this is also... Strong energy suggesting that you are going to enter a new phase of learning. Just as you are you are entering a new phase of learning for your emotional, mental well-being. Okay. Major Kana, Major Kana. Um, well. Vital energies here, you know, says that you are going to go through huge learning as well on a spiritual level, but you will be rewarded. You will have a nice reward. You know, by the end of the year, you will have clarity. You will have a lot of realizations, a lot of mini realizations throughout the year and huge realizations as well, um, you know, several times in a year. So big growth, I feel, is big, big growth. Um this energy, Empress New Clothes, right? Is as if, um, you know, the energies are turning in such a way for you that, you know, as I've said here, it is about you seeing things or having realizations, seeing things in which you have never seen before and then realizing like, oh my God, you know, my whole reality is shifting. I, my perspectives are shifting. And here, this energy is also, you have this huge shift in your priorities in your life. It's almost sudden. It's almost like you are, you know, experiencing the shift in such a tangible way that you are shifting even your whole, your entire goal in life, you know, like, why you're here, you know, why you're alive on this planet. And, and you start to question a lot of it. And, you know, realizing that certain foolishness no longer serves you and, and you're willing to let them go, right? That's the whole idea. You're willing to let them go. You're willing to celebrate victories. You're willing to, um, to be humbled, right? And I think it's a huge lesson for you in terms of um, humility and humbleness here. The energy seems to be suggesting that. So, Taurus, I feel that like you are a warrior. You know, you're like a spiritual warrior. This year seems to be a year prepping you to be this spiritual warrior where you really have to learn some big lessons to prepare you to be this spiritual warrior. And I think it's a very powerful, powerful year in that sense. You know, 
oftentimes people think that, you know, a good year means nothing happens. A good year means everything is just, you know, flat line. Um, but in order to have a good year, sometimes we do need to go through huge challenges, right? Huge lessons. Um, but the idea is to be aware of these lessons so that you don't become a victim of them, so that you empower yourself and you see that they, they serve you, that they are good for you, okay? So, sanctity, through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. You had true offering earlier on as well, right? So true offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. Truly <laughs> an awakening year, a spiritually awakening year for you. Okay, don't forget to work with your inner child. So this is connected to what we talked about um, with family culture and your emotional, mental well-being. Go back into the inner child healing that is needed. Uh, in order for you to work through the issues um, that you have emotionally, mentally, the inner child usually carries a lot of wounds, right? In the unconscious, the shadow part of self. And be open to guidance, spiritual guidance. It's coming your way. Uh, look for a teacher to assist you, to guide you, to take you further along on the path. This is not something that you can do yourself. All right, you do need a guide. So a guide can come in the form of books, a guide can come in the form of causes or a physical teacher, but you need a guide, not, you know, um, not just something that you just do on your own and that doesn't take you anywhere. Okay, so this is your spiritual growth, spiritual development, very, again, very powerful uh, transitional energies, a lot of transits happening for you a lot of aha moments, a lot of reawakening. Um, let's get a message from Soul Truth, this deck, and see what we have for you. Okay, this flew up. What risk can I take today? What risk can you take to move towards your dreams, make a decision and do it? No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you are really made of. You will need to take a big scary leap. It says here. Okay. Just checking for the strange sound. Okay. Now let's do messages from the future self. Because this is a very big deck and I find it very difficult to shuffle, right? Uh, somehow I can't get my hands around this. So I'm going to divide, shuffle them in two parts and then I'm gonna you know rearrange them cheese <laughs> all right okay calm down message from future self we'll take that one too many okay let me shuffle this one Okay, this one is a bit more calm. All right, so I'm going to move the cards this way as a way to shuffle them. And then I'm going to cut the deck again and do this. And then I'm going to cut the deck twice. Visualization. So in your meditation, maybe you need to do more meditation. If you have not been doing, if you, if you are new on a path, use visualization. If you're more seasoned on a path, visualization may also be the way to go. Pick up your heels. See, look at the rainbow. Very good energies there. And then we have Desiree. No conditions unfavorable unfavor right now. Wait and look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. If you are looking some, at something that you wanted to do for your spiritual development um, right now at this moment, if you're watching this right at this moment, then know the conditions are not favorable for that particular option. Maybe you need to look at other options. Okay. And then this one says... I'm leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So this is a message from your future self, yeah? 
interesting message from Future Cell about 2023. Very exciting year ahead for you, Taurus. A lot of growth. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? I'm sure you are. You're ready for it. You have to be ready or else it will not happen, right? This will not come up if you're not ready. Obviously, you're ready. So Taurus, I wish you a wonderful 2023. And uh, if you want to be updated on uh, the kind of energies that are going to impact you on a weekly basis, do subscribe. Uh, to my channel and then you can see what kind of energies to anticipate on a weekly basis. I do my readings every week. Um, and so, um, yeah, I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now. God bless you. Have a wonderful 2023.